think it looks awesome from up here. <laughs> Hey there awesome and amazing people, my name is Sosonis and welcome back to Satisfactory. In the previous episode we built the concrete factory and that is going on strongly. This one is almost full and now it is up to me to make a screw factory because uh, my god this, this takes forever and we need a lot of screws and we need a lot of iron plating so we're gonna make a screw and reinforced plate factory. So we have a, a plate factory al already going on over here but yeah we need screws. And we know we have one iron deposit left and the other one, uh, well, the, the, maybe maybe if, if any of you know how to remove the, this boulder on top of it, let me know that in the comment below. And uh, if not, uh, well, then, then maybe in the future we will find out how to do it. So first I need to remove this and then we're gonna put a miner on it. I'm gonna place the MK1 miner for now since we uh, yeah, cannot advance yet with the conveyor belt. So it doesn't make sense if we already put one down over here. So 120 is coming out. This is a 120 conveyor belt. Let's go to this direction. And then over here we're gonna place these smelters. And just like that. So that is nicely all connected. And now it is time uh, to check out uh, how many stuff we need over here now. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, why don't we build the smelters up there? I think it is a nice flat area up here. And I know this is also large enough to uh, build another production facility over here. But for now, uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut these trees down and then we can place the smelters over here. And I'm gonna feed the constructors that are going to be placed down over here. So bye bye all beautiful nature over here. Okay, I've been fiddling around a little bit and here we have the miner, 120 is coming out, then it is going to be split in 60 and 60, and then 30 and 30, and then we have those uh, smelters over here. And those four smelters are going to feed eight constructors for the rods, and then we need another eight constructors uh, for the screws, so that is a lot. And we need a lot of space, so I cleared the room a little bit over here. and. I hope uh, one day we can open this one and then we can uh, have smelters on that side and then uh, things can come along over here and then uh, go out over there again. So that's one, two. Okay, so this is a row of eight constructors. Jeez Louise, I'm, I'm living in a small area. <laughs> First I thought it would be big enough, but uh, yeah, the, the more advanced you want to go, the more room you need. We need a splitter over here, uh, but um, I got an issue. It is too steep. So these need to be higher or this needs to be further away. And, and uh, my, my god. <laughs> um, I, I think I will uh, bring uh, these over here. Or I will bring them up. Okay, the smelters are up high enough. And what I did is extend the foundations from that side all the way to this side. And remove the two in between. And uh, yeah, put the smelter on top of it and uh, then this is some kind of a uh, weird construction. I don't know how happy I am with it, <laughs> but for now it has to do uh, the way it is now. And what I need to do now is place more of these constructors over here in a row, connect everything together and then we can start producing. And that means we're gonna have, uh, what is this, 30, 60, 120 iron rods per minute over here. And that will translate into um, 720 uh, screws per minute. So that is a lot of screws. But we need a lot of screws because we want to have uh, reinforced plates and all the kind of things. And that will use up a lot. Okay, time to connect the conveyor belts. And then we need to power everything up. And then we are ready to produce stuff. Alright, time to power everything up. There we go. And it is going to turn. Yes. All right, they are producing, but <laughs> I see now I forgot something. I forgot to put a conveyor belt uh, between them. Oh, that is not useful. And there are our first screws. How awesome. And on this line as well. Nice. So this is going perfect. So what we need now is uh, assemblers because I want to make reinforced plates. And uh, with these over here, we're going to make three assemblers. And uh, let's see how big they are. I haven't placed anyone yet. Oh, <gasps> they are big. Oh, okay. So this one needs to be split in three ways. And uh, then it needs to feed three assemblers. And I need to uh, get iron plates up here as well. So that is also a thing. I don't have iron plates up here, but they are down there. So we need to find a way uh, to bring them up here as well. Okay, let's see how... 
then one right over here and then we need to uh, change the place up a little bit more <laughs> Okay, I had to remove the conveyor belt over here and, and now the next assembler. So, I, mean, I think I'm gonna place it like this over here, then we can merge everything together right in front of this and then it can go down. So let's see if this height difference matters. No, it doesn't matter, okay. So we have a merger over here and then uh, everything from over here needs to merge into that one. Alright, product is coming out of that one, and then we're gonna merge it into this one, and this one right over here, that one, and then going into that one, yes, and now we need to connect, oh, that one is already connected, okay, so all we need to do now is bring the screws in here and bring the plates in here. Okay, I need to get the place from over here, and yeah, th this line produces 90 per minute, I need 60. Um, I, I need to change this up over here, but uh, I have no time for that today. The first splitter is going to be placed right here. At least I really hope it will work. So uh, this one goes into that one. And then... This one going into that one. Yes, that is working. Like that. Alright. This one is going to be on the top one right over there. This one over here can be go into that one. And the top one is going to be moved to the top one right over there. And then right into that one yes that is working okay okay for the plates i removed the conveyor belt over there because uh, i thought i'm gonna split them at the back but why not split them at the start over here so i'm gonna place a foundation right up here Alrighty. yes it's going into that one then one part is going over there This one needs to go to the far back. And let's see if we have it over there, if it can go down there. No, it is too steep. So we need to go around. What if we do it like this? Can that be a thing? Yes, all right. At least that is the first start. And now we need, need to make sure to connect it to that one over there. And that can be a thing. And let's see if we can make this one work like that. So, yes, that can work. And you are going to be feeded into that one. Okay, powering it up. So that one goes into that one. That one in that one. And this into that. And now everything is working. And there's the first one. <laughs> nice. And it seems that these conveyor belts need to be faster, so... Okay, let's see how much screws we're gonna get from one box. I think it will be six. One screw? Really? One? Okay. That is something I didn't expect. So, it is really 90 boxes out of one. Oh my god. Because when we make themselves, uh, they're gonna put six screws in one box. And uh, so I was hoping that this would be 6 as well, and then only uh, 15 would come out of it. But that is not the case. <laughs> it is one screw per box. Oh. Alright, I know how to fix this. So 90 is coming out. We're gonna split them in 3. So 3 times 30. And with that we can easily make 120 again. So I'm gonna start off here with the top one, and how did I do it? Well, just connect the conveyor belt from one side to the other side, and uh, then you can easily do this. So if you have a conveyor belt, just grab your splitter and you can connect it to the conveyor belt. And later you just need to split it up, I believe. So just like this. Then I'm gonna remove this part. It seems to be split, but I'm not sure if that will work or not. 
So just to be safe, we're gonna do it like this. And it works the same for the merges that I'm gonna put on over here. So um, we need clearance. So oh, because they are down here, of course. Oh my god, <laughs> I need to repeat the steps over here. So uh, everything uh, should be uh, done at the same time before you can do anything else. So I really need to remove this one. Then I can place a conveyor belt and then I can put a merger to it. So now that the merger is up there, uh, yeah, I, I need to be sure uh, to put all the conveyor belts in that I want to have in it. We're almost done. So 90 is coming up to the conveyor belt, going to be split three ways. So 30 into this one, 30 over here is going to be 60 and 30 is going to that way. And this 60 is going to be combined over there with the one beneath it. So 60 and 60 is 120. And over here, uh, these are all the 30s. So here comes 60 out, here comes 60 out. And this is going to be 120 as well. And this one uh, can get connected to the one that we have over there. So let's see if we can do this. So like that. And then this one is going to be connected to that one. Yes. So that one is working. And all we need to do now is uh, connect this one up. To the one that we have right in front of us from over here 30 is coming out 30 is coming out gonna be merged into the 60 and over here also 30 coming out at the bottom one 30 going to be merged Ooh, they they oh my god i haven't connected that one yet Ooh, fatal mistake <laughs> so 30 and 30 is 60 again and it is all going to be combined to become 120 and 120 is what the assembler needs so let's see can you yes you can be connected to that one and then you are going to be connected to you all right then from this point into that one and now everything should be finished <laughs> oh yeah it, it already gets more than enough Friday the place is done and I think it looks awesome from up here <laughs> I really like this place over here even though it was not uh, my intention to do it this way I think it looks good so in the future we can always upgrade stuff with the new conveyor belts but for now uh, yeah we, we got a massive factory for screws and uh, we have uh, at least three assemblers going on for these reinforced plates so we get 15 reinforced plates per minute and then we have a leftover of 360 screws over here that we can use for other things or maybe also need to use them for assemblers to make more of these reinforced plates but that will be something uh, to find out later and over here i think i'm gonna make a steel production and uh, yeah still a lot of work to do but i really like and enjoy this game satisfactory so that's it for this video i hope you all enjoyed if you did leave a like leave any thoughts about this video or whatever in the comment below and as always if you haven't already watched see more in the future then smash that subscribe button like a maniac and i'll see you all in the next video stream Bye bye